Good morning, superstars. Focus for this week is going to be football. So I'm going to show you simple, easy things that you can try. We're going to warm up first, and we're going to start by touching our opposite shoulder with our hands, but from a push-up position. So let's do this. Doing great. 20 more seconds. Ten seconds. And stop. Super. Take 20 seconds. The next thing we're going to do now, we're going to do half squat, but we're going to only use one leg. So we're going to do one leg half squat, just like this. I'm going to open my arms to, to keep my balance. It's up here, you're going to open your arms and keep your arms on your hips. I'm going to lift one knee slightly, and then I'm going to bend the other knee. So half squat, that's what we're going to do. 40 seconds and I'm going to do the same thing, lifting on the other knee, so we're going to do it on your other foot. Ready? And go. You're doing great. Lose your balance, just carry on. Get yourself ready and carry on. It's okay to make mistakes, that's how we learn. Be resilient, carry on trying. Lovely, now we're gonna do the same thing with the other leg. And When I say guys, I mean boys and girls. Boys and girls, dads, moms, you feel, feel free to try this as well. Super. Now shake your legs, shake your arms, 20 seconds. Now I'm ready to start my my session, my lesson for today with football. And as you can see, there's a ball behind me here. I'm, I'm, my blood is pumping through my face. I'm, my, I'm sweating. I'm doing all this thing to get myself ready, okay? I'm gonna use this football, but if you don't have a football, you can use any ball at home, okay? Now this is, this first bit is more for the little ones there. Now, if you do have a ball, or if you are creative and you, you, you made yourself a soft round ball from, you, from, from your socks, from all the other things that you might have at home, then there are some rules that I need you guys to follow. The first thing we're going to do, we are going to give our ball a name. So this is my best friend, okay? I'm gonna call him Wilson. Now it's your turn to name your best friend. Take a second to do that. Great, now that you name your best friend, we need, how do we treat our best friends? We are kind to our best friends. We look after our best friends. We don't lose our best friends. We're not gonna kick our best friend. So no kicking the ball. Especially if you are in the house doing these things, there is no kicking because we don't kick our best friends, we look out for our best friends, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put the ball down and I'm going to put my foot, either my right foot or left foot on top of the ball, okay? So the sole of my foot, the sole of my foot, which is this bit here of my foot, okay? This bit here, I'm going to put it on the ball. 
and this is how we're gonna have our stop. So if I'm gonna tell you to stop, this is what you do. You put your foot on the ball and you stop. Great. Wilson, my best friend now, I'm gonna take him for a walk. So I want you to take your best friend for a walk and I want you to show your best friend your room if you're doing it in your room, your hallway, take him up, up the stairs and show him the whole house, take him to the garden, show him the garden, take your best friend for a walk. How are we going to do that? We're not allowed to use our hands, we're only going to use our, our feet, yes? Unless you go up and down the stairs, then you can use your hands to move your friend up or down, okay? Or if the ball gets stuck somewhere in your house, you can use your hands to take it out. How are we going to do that? So, I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. We're going to use both feet, small little touches, okay, with the inside of our foot, and we're going to take our best friend for a walk. Now, the inside of my foot, because we're going to, I'm going to use a lot for this word. So the, our vocabulary for today is the inside and the outside of my foot, or big finger, small, so big toe, small toe, okay? So the inside of my foot is this part here on the inside, where my big toe is. That's my inside of my foot, so where the big toe is, so my big toe is here, so this whole part here is the inside of my foot. Now where the small toe is, which is on this side here, all this side is my outside of my foot. So I'm going to use the inside of my foot, now I'm going to use small little touches, and I'm going to take my best friend for a walk in my space that I have here. Small little touches, take your best friend. Come on Wilson, let me show you around. Well done Wilson, such a good friend. Always there for me. Okay, are you ready? Go show your, show your best friend your room. Small little touches. Remember the rules are no kicking, no losing our friend, and we are kind to our best friend, okay? Off you go, I'll be right here waiting for you. And welcome back. How was it? Were you good to your best friend? Were you kind? Did you lose your best friend? Did you follow the rules? Amazing, you are all superstars. The next thing we're going to do now, we're going to do a penguin walk. So, I'm going to pretend I'm a penguin and I'm going to use again the inside of my foot, which we talked about the big toe, so the inside of my foot, and I'm going to just go up and down with my with my best friend with Wilson. So, I'm going to pretend to be a penguin. I'm going to have my, uh, both of my feet stiff. So I'm just going to do small touches like this. And then I'm going to take my best friend up and down. Come on, Wilson. And then I'm going to turn slowly. I'm going to take my best friend small little touches. And stop. Remember, stop is when you try to put your foot on the ball. Put your foot on the ball and try to keep your balance. Amazing. Super. Now we're going to try to do a small circle using our big toe. So I'm going to use my big toe so you can use your right foot or your left foot. Which one you want to try first, it's up to you. I'm going to use my right foot. I'm going to make a small circle using following my big toe and I'm back. So following my big toe, I'm going to go anti-clockwise and I'm going to do a smaller circle. If you don't have a ball, you can use some socks, you can use even a tennis ball, simple things, take your best friend and make a circle in the bed. If you think you can make a bigger circle, then you can do a bigger circle, your best friend, only using your inside of your foot, your big toe. Then, if it's too easy with one foot, then try with the other foot. I'm going to try with my left foot now. I'm going to do a small circle with my left foot, and then I'm going to put my foot on the board to stop. Okay? If it's hard with your left foot or harder, 
then practice and practice and practice until it's easy. Now, we are going to use our small toe. So we're going to use the outside of our feet. We're going to use the outside of our feet. And we're going to go clockwise. So we're going to follow. I'm going to follow my small toe now to my right. So I'm going to make a small circle with my small toe. And then I'm going to stop the ball here again. You might find it way more difficult using the outside of your foot. But if you want to be a footballer, then you need to practice until you get it right and you need to practice until it's easy, okay? So carry on making a small circle with your outside, outside of your foot, which is following your small toe. Now I'm going to use my left foot and I'm going to do the same thing small in a circle, don't small touches, so touches because if we do, if we touch the ball hard, we're going to lose control and we're going to chase the ball. So small touches, that's why we're doing all that's what we're doing today. Small touches, follow your follow your small toe. Super. As a little challenge, try to lift the ball up and catch it. So put your Put your foot on the ball, you drag it towards you, and then quickly you put your, your, your big toe under and you lift the ball up and then you catch a small little thing. If this is too difficult for you, you carry on trying. This is your lesson for today. Remember to set up goals. What is your goal for today? Have you exercised enough? Are you sleeping well? Are you putting your games away a couple of hours before you go to sleep so your brain can rest as well? Are you having a good, balanced, um, healthy diet? All these things, are you keeping hydrated? Please don't drink too many fizzy drinks. Don't eat too much sugar, too much sweets. Look after yourself. It's so important now in lockdown to be even extra active. So please, try your best. And I will see you tomorrow for a new video. Take care. Bye-bye.